What is euthanasia? Euthanasia is defined as the act or practice of killing or permitting the death of a hopelessly sick or injured animal or individual in a relatively painless way for reasons of mercy. Types of euthanasia. When we're looking at the types of euthanasia, there is active euthanasia, which is when a person administers a lethal dose of medication as a mercy, or passive euthanasia, which is when someone can choose to withhold medical care or the decision to take action to save a person that leads to the death of the individual is taken. Assisted suicide. This is a form of self-inflicted death in which a person voluntarily brings about his or her own death with the help of another, usually a physician, relative, or friend. Voluntary, voluntary euthanasia. A form of euthanasia in which a person asks to die, either by active or by passive euthanasia. Medical professionals. The American Medical Association has shown disdain towards the expanded acceptance of doctor-assisted suicide in the Netherlands, which became legal in April 2001. Another big point to focus on when looking at the legalization of assisted suicide is the doctrine of double effect, a legal principle that protects physicians treating patients to relieve pain even though the palliative treatment may shorten the patient's life. Although this may not end in eventual death, it is a law designed to help doctors treat patients in the way they best seem fit. There are many in the medical community that believe restrictions should be further relaxed and that doctors should be able to help anybody that wants to have an assisted suicide. However, there are also professionals in the medical community that believe that this should not be taken as an action. Religious perspective. Religious institutions are very against assisted suicide. Religion is one of the biggest psychological factors in deciding how a person feels about voluntary euthanasia. And when we're looking at religion, Christianity is one of the most practiced religions. One of the Catholic Church's Ten Commandments is you shall not murder, from Exodus twenty thirteen. Some individuals interpret this commandment to mean that one should never take actions that will hasten the end of one's life, even if that life is one's own. This basically means that God has a plan for everybody and put everybody on this earth. To remove yourself or anybody else from this planet, meaning a doctor and someone's life, or you and your own life, is to violate God's purpose and plan for everybody, thus creating an atrocious sin. Ethics. When we're focusing on ethics, we need to focus on the four main types. Autonomy. This is when a person makes their own decisions. This basically means that a person has to make the decision to be euthanized themselves and that someone should not make it for them. Justice. Justice refers to the fair and equal distribution of the benefits and burdens. Basically, we can interpret this as meaning that euthanasia would have to be available for everybody, and that would mean that it would have to be legal everywhere besides the Netherlands. That would mean every state and country would have to legalize it to be truly just. Beneficience. This mainly represents merciful acts or acts of kindness. This can be interpreted as the act of putting someone out of their misery by their request. Non-maleficence. In summary, this means to prevent acts of evil and to never act with malicious intent. A doctor should never euthanize a patient against their will. That would be considered moral, morally unjust and as a federal crime, being murder. When looking at the professional side of things, we need to realize that not everybody knows what to discuss, but the main points should be, should it be legal to aid someone with assisted suicide? Being a doctor has the right and the duty to help a patient in their times of pain and need, but should it go as far as helping someone to commit suicide? 
should a doctor go against a patient's will and refuse to aid them, particularly in countries like Denmark? Not every doctor might feel comfortable with helping someone to take their own life. For example, they might be a Catholic who believes it's a sin and believe they are helping to commit a sin. We also need to look at the borders between the types of euthanasia. These lines can be easily blurred, and it must be kept in check to have the best possible outcome for a patient. When looking at the clinical aspect, we need to look at the different techniques and methods used. Out of the many techniques right now, one of the most common is taking someone off of life support, meaning they're already in a critical condition, and unfortunately there's not much that medical technology today can do for them. Then we have to look at the possibility of harm and or failure of a procedure. When we talk about this, we think of an overdose, for example. A medically assisted overdose, which is when a doctor pumps too much of a medicine into a patient to help ease their pain or to kill them at their request, can possibly fail and cause internal damage that would be irreparable to the patient. Then again, we have to look at the legality. This would mean that Although a doctor might want to help a patient, he might not be able to in a state. Should he be able to go against that? Personally, I think when discussing that, I think you should abide by the law. The law always comes before ethics. In conclusion, the issue of euthanasia has been on center stage of the medical community in terms of how ethical it is for over a decade. Countries such as Denmark have legalized the act, yet not all doctors feel okay with doing it. And I believe that you shouldn't force a doctor to help someone commit suicide if they're uncomfortable with it or if it violates their beliefs. This is because I stand with the church. I believe euthanasia is a partial sin. My opinions are my own, but to rephrase... I believe that everybody has a purpose on this earth and that taking the path of euthanasia is ending a life before it has fulfilled its purpose. Thank you for your time.